95% battery. This is a pre-planned 10 minute test flight using Lichen. Stop watch has been started. Well, the 10 stroke 11 minutes uh, test flight is actually accomplished in about 8 minutes, but uh, we'll allow the batteries to run flat in the hover position. 2 meters altitude, 10 meters distance, 0 kilometers per hour, 51% battery. Another interesting aspect of this test is the stability of the drone while it's flying. These are the standard props. When we can zoom in, you can see it's incredibly steady. Two meters altitude, one meter distance. Zero kilometers per hour, 35% battery. We had the low battery warning at 64% battery. And 13 Two meters altitude. minutes and 15 Two meters seconds. Distance. Twenty four percent battery remaining. We we'll stop the test now at fourteen oh three minutes. You can see that, but it's 14.03.
I've loaded the same flight path on Litchi. The flight last time ran out a little shorter than expected, but we'll run the same route anyway. I'll start, I'll reset the stopwatch and we'll take it off as soon as we take off. Starting the stopwatch. The weather conditions are fairly similar. There was a little change, but we're back to pretty much the same conditions as before. I've taken a photograph from a uh, thermometer to show the air conditioning. Um, we're now flying with the new Master Air Screw version 2 props. I haven't changed any of the settings on the, on the uh, drone itself. Um, the battery was recharged. Having cooled down And it's the same battery, so we're hoping that this will be a fair test. Forty nine meters altitude, thirty three meters distance, twenty kilometers per hour, eighty nine percent battery. Ninety five meters altitude, two hundred and fifty eight meters distance, fourteen kilometers per hour, seventy nine percent battery. Eighteen meters altitude, six meters distance, zero kilometers per hour, fifty eight percent battery. We're at 8 minutes and 8 seconds now. The uh, drone has completed its 11 minute mission. Um, and we're just waiting now until we get to 24% remaining battery. We'll also zoom in just to check the stability of the drone under the new prop. altitude, 11 meters distance, 0 kilometers per hour, 56% battery. Well there's no discernible difference in uh, aircraft control from a stability perspective. I haven't actually done an agility test which we'll do on a separate battery.
3 meters altitude, 11 meters distance, 0 kilometers per hour, 50% battery. We're just over 10 minutes into the flight time and about 50% battery. I haven't done the noise test yet, but uh, perceptively the drone is quieter. I think Master Air School have done an amazing job with these props. They're very subtle changes, as can be seen from the still photos. Three meters altitude, ten meters distance, zero kilometers per hour, thirty-six percent battery. We're now at thirteen minutes. At 14 minutes, we get the first alert for a low battery. We're now at 26%, Three meters altitude, at 14.45. Well, the conditions were fairly similar, and I make that 15 minutes 10 seconds, which is without doubt an improvement in the battery length, battery duration. So on to the next stage. Zero kilometres per hour, 41% battery.
So let's conclude. I've had some fun with these props. I like the colour. Uh, it makes the uh, Mavic Air stand out. I don't know if it will put birds off striking it because they're red. But I think I'll keep them. It makes it look different from the other Mavic Airs. But the Monster Air screw props. They're numbered 5333. You can look up what that means later. Um, what do I think of them? Well, they're certainly quieter. Difficult to tell without decent equipment how much quieter. But the pitch was certainly lower and the volume was certainly lower. We could see this also on the video. If you looked at the sound trace, it was visibly smaller. So, noticeably quieter. Normally, uh, I would refer to that as a 3 dB drop because it has to be 3 dB for us to notice anything. That's normally half the volume. Um, anyway, on to the efficiency. It flew with the Mavic Air props and with the um, Master Air Screw props on the same mission, Litchi mission, which was scheduled to be 11 minutes. But with both sets of props, it came out at about 8 minutes. And I think this was because the Litchi mission used um, curved uh, waypoints. And so that cut some of the journey off, and, and that's why the, the, the uh, mission was cut short. But it was about the same for both sets of props, so I couldn't learn anything much from that. But what I could learn from was the fact that the Master Air Screw Pops flew for an extra minute. Um, that's undeniable, and that represents about a 7% saving on power, or an improvement in efficiency. You'd have to do more tests to verify that. I didn't notice any difference in handling at all really, so it's still stable. Um, I have given it a small blast at full throttle, I haven't noticed any problems there either, which there was apparently with the uh, version 1 of these props. But these are brilliant, I love them. I won't be putting the Mavic Air original props back on, I'll be sticking with these. And in honour of that, I've put on my Master Air Screw Go Further Stripe. I'm going to keep them. And by the way, I'm not paid for this. There is no, I have no financial interest in Master Air Screw Pots. I'm just interested in the facts, whether or not they're better. I like them. I hope you do too, and I hope you like the video. If you do, please subscribe. Cheers. Bye.